Hello, welcome back to Structured Programming in Python. So what is Structured Programming? So Structured Programming is the idea that you break down a problem into sub parts. So if I take the following problem, create a program which prompts the user to enter a series of numbers, adds them together and outputs the results. So I can have my main program and the sub parts would be inputting the numbers, followed by adding the numbers, followed by outputting the results. Now we put sub parts in a program in Python using functions. Now functions in Python are defined using the def function followed by the name of the function. So def, as you can see there, followed by output total. And then in those brackets, you would put parameters, which we'll cover later. And then as part of that function, you would define the program as it's shown here, print the total is total. Now to call that function, we simply write the name of the function in the main part of the program, and that will call that particular function. So let's look at this in the context of the bigger program. So if you go back to our diagram we did earlier, we have the main function, which is at the bottom of the program there, followed by the input numbers, followed by the add numbers, and followed by the output results part of the program. So if we look at the top of the program, we have the numbers variable, which is a list, followed by the total variable, which is just going to keep a total of the sum of the numbers in the list, as you can see there. These are what we call global variables. What we mean by global variables are variables that are accessible throughout the entire program. Now, opposite to that is what we call um, localized variables or local variables. And you can see that in this program uh, using taking number as the example, that is a local variable. It is only accessible inside that function and it won't be accessible outside of that function, just in that function. If we take this pro this first function, which is input numbers, it's simply asking the user for an input, uh, defining the numbers minus one, and it will keep looping until you enter a zero, in which case you've finished adding numbers. And every time you add, add a number, you will append it to the numbers list as shown there. The next function, which is add numbers, simply adds or sums up the total of numbers. Now we use the global command there to say we're referring to a global variable as opposed to the local variable. We then take that variable and equals it to the sum using the function sum to add up all the numbers in the numbers list. The next function simply outputs the total, whatever the contents of the variable total is. And obviously the last function, the main function, is we'll call each of the other functions. So input numbers, we'll call input numbers, followed by add numbers. And lastly, the total. And then to bring it all together in the main part of the program, you call the main function, which calls the main function, which in turn will call the other functions. So that is the complete structured program. Now I'm going to show you this program working in uh, an IDE. So this is my program in the IDE and you can see here the, the, the program, I'm going to now run it and, just, and on here you'll say it's asking me for a number, I will enter a series of numbers, 5, so 8, 10, 2 and I will finish the input with 0 and it says your total is 25. So the program has worked. And just to step through how the program's working. So we've got here the, the program, the Python sets the, defines the list, which is an empty list of numbers and defines the total. It will not run any of these functions because they haven't been called yet. So it gets to the end of the program, which is main, which says call that function main. So main will call, be called up here. It will run this function input numbers which goes up here this will ask print out the prompt the user for an input 
we set number one to minus one because um, otherwise the while loop won't start. So that's our default number, if you like. And then while, so while the number does not equal zero, in other words, we're going to keep looping until I enter zero, ask a number from the user, convert it into an integer. If the number doesn't equal zero, then add the number that I've just entered to the list, append it to the end of the list. And it will keep on looping there until I enter zero. When I fin enter zero, this function will finish and return back to where it was called from. And so it comes down here. This will then run add numbers, which goes back up here into add numbers. Um, we use the global variable total, remember, global variables. And we then we set, set total to the sum of the numbers in the list. We then finish this function, come back down here. This outputs the total. This will then print the total, uh, co the variable, uh, the contents of the variable total to the screen. And then we finish this function, which then finishes the program. Now, the next step we need to look at is in structured programming is the use of parameters because global variables aren't the best things to use.